I have lost more money in the stock market over the past few months than I have ever before. Things are just crazy. Stocks I'm buying are going down 50, 70%. This is getting out of control. Is this how you're feeling? Is this the type of sentiment that you're getting? Because this is the type of sentiment that I see prevailing throughout the market. People freaking out about the declines that are happening. People getting out of their minds saying, why am I losing so much money? Am I a bad investor? What have I done wrong? Well, there's a few factors at play. You may have bought the wrong stocks. You may have bought the wrong time. You know, there's a whole lot of factors at play. But if you want stability in this market, if you want a safe place to go, if you want somewhere you can put your money and have certainty that not only this year, but also next year, five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years, that in the future, your wealth is going to be stable. Your wealth is going to be secure. That's going to be in a safe place. Well, then do I have a stock for you? You know, year to date, S&P, S&P is down by a fair large margin. Fang stocks are down. Fang stocks down 10, 15, 20%. Some stocks are down 40, 30, 50%. But this stock I'm about to show you is down 4%. After returning 65% over the past one year and 223% over the past five years. And what stock is this, you might ask? What wonderful business are you alluding to? Well, it's not a complicated business. It's a fairly simple business. That business is Costco. That business is Costco Wholesale. It's a simple, simple company. And this is so often what we neglect as investors. We think we need to be Johnny on the spot. We need to be buying this company, next company, after company. Switching between positions rapidly. Buying what's in, selling what's out. That's not the case. In investing, value investing or otherwise, I believe sticking to a few wonderful companies is the way to build long-term wealth. Look at this. Over the past one year, up over 65.07%. Five years 223.81% and all time, this stock is up over 71,398%. Now, is Costco a complicated business? Is Costco a company that you look at and say, well, this is a very complex business. I need to run my thorough financial analysis to conclude what the, the revenue streams and potential outfit look for the company is going forward. No. Costco is a very simple business. A very stable Cash flow generative company, and although margins not be high, margins may not be high, once you understand the model there within the business, I think you'd have a fair degree of confidence. So let's have a look at Costco stock. Let's have a look at the, the fundamentals of this business. How's it performing? Because on a financial strength basis, it's top class. A cash to debt ratio of 1.33. Large degree of cash on hand relative to their debt. You know, they could pay down all the debt outstanding on their balance sheet if they so desired. And still have the equivalent of 33 cents in cash relative to that one-to-one -one ratio to continue to reinvest and build out their business going forward a great degree of financial stability you know a high altman score very little risk of financial default financial stability wise this company is safe but you know lucky a lot of companies have financial stability the numbers you've just shown me there cash to debt altman score a lot of companies i see have these numbers so why is costco so secure why is Costco such a safe bet relative to other things in the market? Well, it comes down to the nature of their underlying business. Think about the type of business that Costco is. A discount wholesale retailer with a membership aspect to this business. You pay the membership, you get the cheapest prices. That's, that's how it works. In the event of a recession, in the event of a, an economic pullback, a crash of sorts, what do you think is the last thing a consumer is going to give up? What is the most important thing to households during a recession? Well, it's those basic amenities. Food, shelter, the human needs, and that's what Costco provides. Those basic household needs at a discounted price. So the last thing I'm going to give up if I'm a household in the event of recession is my Costco membership. Because then I can't shop at Costco. Then I can't get these discounted prices on things I use on a daily basis. And that aspect of their business that fundamental factor of I'm not going to give up my Costco membership even in the event of an economic downturn. That's what gives this business stability. That's what gives this business the potential to outperform the likes of Walmart, the likes of these other large-scale retailers. Costco's performance relative to other companies within the retail sector is completely unmatched, completely unprecedented. And Charlie Munger saw this years before. Charlie Munger saw this right back at the beginning by Costco Warren. Buy Costco. There's this wonderful company called Costco. I think you should buy it. And Warren stayed away. Warren didn't buy as much as he should have. And Costco, Charlie rather, 
has hounded him since for it. You watch the Berkshire annual meetings, you see Warren says, you know, Costco was a mistake, should have bought Costco. And the reality is that I think now in this time of uncertainty and time of financial risk, Costco is more relevant than ever. Large degree of financial strength, recessionary, not proof, but recessionary strengthened company. So financial strength is there. What about profitability, you ask? What about profitability of Costco? Well, net margins of 2.62%, which appear very, very low, but that's understandable given the nature of the business. A discount retailer. The lowest prices provided low margins on all their products. The margins obviously come in from the, the membership fees. The membership fees constantly flowing in, giving a large degree of free cash flow. Float, as some would refer to it to. So net margins are low, but I'm not concerned. Not concerned at all with those memberships coming in, with the consistency of that free cash flow. And returns on equity, returns on assets are both healthy. Returns on equity of 31.47%. We typically aim for 20% on a company like this. So outstanding returns on equity, large degree of management competency, and returns on assets, well, 9.23%. Now you might say, Lockie, well, that's below our, our 20% target. We can't be buying that. And that's not the case. Returns on assets of 9.23% actually indicates a fair degree of quality in their underlying business. There's a large degree of capital cost and infrastructure associated with Costco. And so returns on assets of 9.23% are absolutely fine. So on a fundamental basis, on a financial strength basis, on a profitability basis, Costco's doing absolutely fine. Very, very secure. And look at the consistency of this revenue and net income growth. Extremely consistent over the past decade. Constantly compounding year over year revenue and net income growth. Very, very attractive. Healthy cash to debt ratio over time and returns on capital, albeit low, are very, very consistent. So I have very little concern with this business. What concerns investors when it comes to Costco is that PE. A PE of 43.66, such a high PE. A PE closer to NVIDIA than to any other company. How does it justify such a high PE? Well, it's not about the immediate growth prospects. This isn't, obviously isn't a company that people expect is going to compound 50% over the next year. That's going to compound rapidly. What people expect is consistent growth for a very prolonged amount of time. 11 to 15% growth every year, not for the next five years, for the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years. That's what people are pricing in here. So if we have a look at evaluation for, for Costco, I was about to say NVIDIA. This is Costco, non NVIDIA. If we price in growth on Costco, if we come down here and we have a look at the prior growth rates, 10 year growth rate of 11.7%, five year growth rate accelerating to 15.6% and a one year growth rate outstanding of 26.9%. So we have phenomenal growth, consistent growth over the past decade and also accelerating growth over the past few years. This is a mature discount retailer. A large-scale mature business. This is the type of company that people are saying, you know, it's gonna, not going to grow anymore. It's already so mature, so firmly entrenched that growth can't perpetuate. That's just not the reality. Growth is consistent here, and I like the growth. So let's price in, let's say 14% growth going forward over the next decade, which you may say is a little high for Costco. I think it's fairly consistent. I think it's slightly lower than their five-year, higher than their 10-year. So if we price that in, reasonable discount rate, you know, it looks very overvalued. Our current price target with that growth assumption is $343.27 relative to the current trading price of $541.99. So why am I still fairly attracted to Costco? Why do I still like Costco so much if it looks so ridiculously overvalued? Well, it plays back into what I just talked about with the PE. The PE is not pricing out growth over the next 5, 10 years. I believe that PE is pricing out growth over the next 25, 30 years. And if we price out growth going forward over the next 20 years for Costco, because we know how firmly entrenched it is, how consistent it is, and we price in, let's say, an even lower growth rate of 11, 12%, well, then Costco is fairly valued. Going forward over the next 20 years or so, with a 12% growth rate, which is pretty much in line with their past 10 years, I think they can keep compounding, given the fact they've been accelerating over the past five and one year. You know, then Costco is fairly valued. Costco is very much a long-term play. And when you price out growth 
that far on the future you may say that that is speculative you can't price out growth the next 20 years that's outrageous for most companies yes in most scenarios yes pricing out 20 years worth of growth is a bit bit ambitious but with costco with a company this firmly entrenched this consistent that for decades has been growing at a consistent or even accelerating rate i think pricing out that type of growth isn't unreasonable Costco for me right now, despite the 10-year valuation, which says it's well, well overvalued, I think right now it's about fairly valued. And I think right now in this marketplace, in a marketplace where uncertainty is rampant, where we have these massive inclines and massive declines day after day, a little bit of Costco in your portfolio, a little bit of stability in the madness of this market, that could help you out. That could be a good place to position some of your capital in this area and not only for this time period this chaotic period within the market but also over the long term 10 15 20 years this could be a stock that you hold through all that a firm staple piece of your portfolio so if you enjoy this video if you learn something more about costco about long-term investment philosophies how you can price out growth on this company a bit further and i think that gives you more reasonable valuation then please drop us a like down below hit subscribe if you haven't already Turn that subscribe button from red to gray, please. If you disagreed, if you agreed with anything I said in this video, then please comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.